Hey Tappers, today we're going to go over the movie technique. Now this is a clinically certified technique, meaning its validity has been shown in a clinical setting. For the purest form of how to do this technique, go to the EFT manual. I'm going to give you some variations. When I work with a client, EFT becomes more of an art form of how to shape it to the person's own experiences so that their neurons are lit up. This is what I attempt to show you in these videos so that you can see a range of possibility. This technique is for when you've had an actual experience or an event that you want to clear. It is different than when you have, say, a fear of heights, even though you haven't actually fallen off of anything. This would be more for a fear of dogs after being bitten, a fear of driving after a car accident, or a fear of bees after being stung. In order to do the movie technique, you do need to have a clear and specific event. It doesn't have to be something traumatic. I'll demonstrate by using a pet peeve of my own. So I don't like stepping into something with my bare feet. I'm very sensitive when it comes to sensory input and it can really set me over the edge quickly. And it doesn't matter what it is, if it's wet, squishy, crunchy, it's all bad. But the worst is sticky. And there's a certain part of my floor where the kitchen meets the dining room that my child frequents with her food. And uh, it's a hot spot for food debris. And I forget this. And if I'm not paying attention and I haven't swept all day, I often get gooed. And this causes all kinds of feelings for me. So this is a good one for me to address. Since sticky is the worst, I'll use the last time my foot stuck to the floor. So that's step one, identifying one particular incident. Step two is choosing a point that is before the event began where I was safe from overwhelm. This for me would be as I'm walking in to the kitchen. Step three is setting parameters. If you are doing this true to the text of this technique, then you would choose three peaks of stress within this event for you to tap on. This is subjective, but it's a good idea to set. In my example, I likely only have one instance, which is when my foot hits the sticky stuff. It's possible to have dozens of triggers or overwhelm in one incident, like a car accident. You might feel overwhelmed attached to um, the other people that are there and what you saw, felt, tasted, heard, or smelt. This process can get lengthy very quickly as you stop on every single point that's overwhelming. So decide ahead of time how many aspects you will have time and energy to address. I suggest no more than three to begin with. So how do you know what aspects to tap on? Well, you may not know ahead of time and that's okay. You may discover more as you go and that's a good thing if it happens. It means that your brain is assisting you and targeting what needs attention. So don't tax yourself with knowing what points you will tap on before you begin. All you need is the event, the neutral beginning point, and how many aspects you will tap on for this session. Once you have this, begin tapping and play this event like a movie in your mind. If you don't feel safe or it's overwhelming to see it, place it on a flat movie screen and sit in the back row or watch it from another city or another planet. Whatever you need to do to be able to feel like it's okay to watch this experience. And you can speak out loud as if you're narrating the movie to someone else. Mention as many details as you can remember, such as the colors of things, the time of day, the temperature. This will get your senses involved and help you discover if there are any hidden points of overwhelm there. Once you reach any given aspect of the movie that spikes your emotions to a four or more, pause the movie. Now we will do a movie review of that particular aspect. Let's continue with my example. I've walked into the kitchen, I've planted my foot, the flat foot of my arch into a sticky cold puddle. And I peel my foot off the floor and I hear that sound of like a sticker being pulled off a surface. And I'm grossed out, I'm instantly overwhelmed by the texture, the heavy cold stickiness on my skin, the emotions vibrating through my body out of every single pore. So what number would I give this, 10 being the worst? I feel it's an eight. I have options now. I can go into the nine gamut with how intense of a response this is for me. I can do some gentle techniques of tapping out the feelings from my body first, or I can begin to ask questions. Have I felt this feeling in my body before? Can I remember when? What does it mean about me that there's sticky stuff on my floor that I step in? 
What does it mean about me that I'm so easily overwhelmed by sticky things on my feet? As I get answers, I would plug them into the basic setup of EFT until my eight goes to a two or below. Now I rewind to my neutral ground and narrate the movie again. I may now notice something earlier that I didn't before, like a feeling of dislike for my kitchen as I walk in because I wish it were more updated than it is. And now I will stop and tap following that same process. Or I may reach the point where my foot gets sticky and notice if it is still triggering. If I stay at a two or below, I'll move forward through the memory and see if or when another peak of overwhelm happens. When I find one, I will repeat the process of pausing, assessing, and tapping until that is also at a two or below, and then I will again rewind to the neutral point. You can use the movie technique with accidents, arguments, something you're mourning, a future event you're going to experience, a traumatic event, and in many other creative ways. The basis is tapping on a specific point in time that has actually happened or will happen. I hope that this has been helpful for you. Let me know in the comments if there's anything else you wanna know about the movie technique and I'll talk to you soon.